If you knew what I knew, you could get 10 million subscribers within six months. That sentence kind of changed my outlook on YouTube because it's knowledge that I'm missing. It's not anything else. If I knew what he knew, I could get to a million subscribers or whatever he said. So the question really is, how do I get there? Now, the first route is to listen to the advice YouTubers, basically VidIQ, Film Booth, those kind of guys. I did that. It didn't really help much. Mostly, I think so at least, because it's outdated advice. They keep telling you to uh, do Mr. Beast editing, like complete dopamine editing and all that stuff. It's not really working that well anymore. And there's some other stuff that I just really don't agree with what they're putting out there. And it hasn't really helped me at all when I tried it. And also I thought it's like they're sharing a lot of strategies instead of like the principles. So with strategies, they're outdated very fast. Principles basically live on forever. So let's go back up to how to get that knowledge. It would be by observing other YouTubers and then make each video 1% better than the last. I think that's also in the Mr. Beast interview here. I th I'll see if I can find a clip. So the question arises, how do you do that? And that's what I'm gonna cover today because I've been experimenting with it a bit. I've got some, some notes here and I believe they can help you out. So how to observe YouTubers? There are quite a few things. Uh, first of all, you can observe their ideas, you can observe their packaging and the delivery of the video. Let's start out. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to skip packaging for the last. Okay, I did write this myself, but it, it was a while ago. First of all, the ideas. You look at what are the common themes and how are they different from the ordinary. If we just look at my, my, uh, at my YouTube homepage, let's see if we have any out of the ordinary ideas. Cookie clicker, ah. <laughs> Literally the first thing I see on my screen is cookie clicker, ah. When have you ever seen a title like that? That's out of the ordinary. It's a great idea. Dragoon is absolutely going to blow off with that one again. I mean, like his channel in general is absolutely insane. Um, just because he does like very weird things. But watch this video blow off. What else? This video by ByCloud is basically like a news video. Uh, Google just dropped a new update on their Gemini whatever thing. And so this idea is also really good because it's just a new thing that no one's covered before. So those would be two good examples for new ideas. So common themes. Here we for one have the news and out of the ordinary is now called Uto. <laughs> That's actually a pretty funny name for it. So how are they different from the ordinary? This one, for example, no one just says ah in their title. It's hard to actually define how they're different. Or here, I mean, you all know most critical. Beware of yelking and he has a banana in his hand. Who does that? So I really can't answer how are they so different, but it is basically just things that aren't really been, being done on YouTube. So packaging, we're skipping that one for last. Then we have the delivery. The delivery I would put into editing style, specific elements that you're using. It, it, that's kind of, a, that's actually kind of like an editing style thing. And obviously the scripts are, obviously not every single video is scripted out, but, but many of them are, or they at least follow some kind of structure and they're talking about good content if it's a good video. For the editing style, you have to look at if they're using no editing, if they're using dopamine editing, like really fast paced cuts, a mix of both maybe, or some are also like cinematic, that's not, that's not how you spell it, is it? Anyway, or if they're using any specific elements like B-roll every, for example, for Mr. Beast, I think it was like a cut a second or something, at least for the intros and if they're using like text to underline things that you're saying. So let's also have a look at some of the examples that I, it's such a random intro bada bing, bada boom. and something you really wouldn't expect for a video that then is literally just the person talking the entire time with sometimes just like some text or some images to underline something, On the island. but it's mostly literally just talking. So here we have a very low editing style. Then we've got people like Clown Pierce who are making new commentary channels where they're not editing, mostly because of a guy called Nico. Let me actually show you. No, I, I showed him in the last video. Then we've got over edited. Listen up because Iman Gaji made $40 million from one YouTube video and used it to buy his private jet. And you might know the style from Nate Wolf if you know that guy, but basically what you do is you put up text, you put up animations, you put up all that stuff and just blast the viewer's brain with all of the information. Personally, I really can't watch that anymore. It, I'm so over it, honestly. But the guy has less than 1k subs and this video has 6.4k views, so it's still working. And I would assume like later in the video, he also chills out a bit. If they learn about what this new arbitrage Never mind. I wanted to talk to women, but I ended talking to everyone and it freed me. My story. Today, I want to talk to you about how I was able to feel much more. 
how how is this possible? The dude has 80k subs, this has 100k views, and he even has background noise. Bro doesn't even use like wait how how's it called? Uh, Adobe uh, Enhance, I think it's called. Like if you want to have better audio, either you can edit it yourself or just use Adobe Enhance. You literally just upload a file and it's done, easy. But it works, it works. Whoa, look at that graph. One view per hour, five views per hour, and then 1,500 views per hour. God damn, that's crazy. Wait, it was from three years? That's, okay, anyway, this is not the point of the video. Uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about editing, right, I forgot. Getting back on topic, this one uh, illustrates it quite well, that there's also a mix between dopamine editing and just normal commentary. Why are you playing this 13 year old Minecraft version? Figure this was an old video. Who the heck plays the old Minecraft? So that was basically one cut every four seconds. Basically just look at videos that you like and figure out how they're editing. And maybe you want to emulate it, maybe you don't. But just knowing about the things that exist will help out a lot. Scripts, con right, I, I completely forgot this arrow. We gotta go up here. <laughs> Where is it? It is up here. My intra inspiration storage, I started this a few days ago. I made the thumbnail one, uh, which I can really recommend you to do, but I also started an intro inspiration storage, so let me open this one up real quick. This video's script is actually insane. It opens up with this quote thing from the person that the video later on talks about, and then this. And then she says, no matter which contest you enter, no matter how high the stakes are, you always win. And after you've heard that, and if you also watch the entire intro, which obviously I cut this down a bit, once you've watched that far, you're like, okay, how the hell does this work? And you watch the entire rest of the video, no matter how boring it is. So if you find any good videos that where you think, oh yeah, that intro is absolutely insane, put it onto a board. Which brings us to doo -doo 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 -doo, packaging. How is their thumbnail different and how do they generate curiosity with their title? I skipped this because, <laughs> of course, it's gonna be about my thumbnail inspiration storage and on the right here, there's gonna be a video link that you can click on right now where I go more in depth into basically thumbnail ideas, what to have a look at, uh, how to improve your thumbnails and how to never run out of ideas anymore. The last part is kind of obvious looking at this, but I would still recommend you watch it. So comment down below if it helped at all and I wish you an amazing time. Nah, the camera didn't work the entire time. Well, anyway, good luck with your journal.